Put Me in a Book by Robert Munch. On their way back from the lake, Mrs. Odell's class saw a man sitting on a park bench holding a big book. Hi, said Haley. What are you doing? I'm trying to finish this book, said the man. It's a picture book. But I don't know what kid I'm going to use in the story. Wow, said Haley. Can you put me in the book? Are you absolutely sure you want to be the kid in this book, said the writer. Yes, said Haley. Wonderful, said the writer. And he picked Haley up, folded her and flattened her and stuck her in the book. Wow, said Mrs. Odell. It's a great honor to be in a book. Then she took everyone back to school, put the book on her desk, and went to tell the principal the wonderful news. The book started to flip-flop up and down and say, Gwack! Ethan opened the book and said, Haley, are you okay? Do you still want to be in this book? Help! yelled Haley. I'm folded and scrunched and trapped and stuck, and I want to get out and go home! Don't worry, the class said. We will get you out. Rachel tried to scrape Haley out of the book with a fingernail. Ah, yelled Haley. That hurts. I know what to do, said Jacob. We'll pull the book apart and Haley will fall out. So a bunch of kids got on each side of the book and tried to pull it apart. Ah, yelled Haley. You're stretching me. Just twist the book and Haley will pop right out, said Kiku. They started to twist the book really hard. Ah, yelled Haley. You're scrunching me. This scraping and pulling and twisting are not working, the kids said. We have to think of something different. Photocopy, yelled Cole. We can use the photocopy machine in the staff room and copy Haley out of the book. So everyone ran to the staff room and Cole tried to copy Haley out of the book. But the machine only made pictures of Haley. The real Haley was still in the book. I know what to do, said Laura. We can squeeze her out of the book. She put the book on the floor and everyone got on top. For a while, nothing happened. Then Haley's nose sproinged out of the book. The book looked really strange with a nose. Ah, I yelled, Haley, you're squishing me. The kids jumped off. Well, said Ethan, at least the principal will be happy. And, said Cole, Mrs. Odell loves having someone in her class in a book. But, said Kiku, Haley's mom and dad will not be happy that their kid is stuck in a book. How can you kiss someone goodnight when she is stuck in a book? I've got it, said Laura. We can change the ending. They ran back to the park, took the writer's marker, and wrote at the end of the book. Then Haley jumped out of the book and told the writer to find some other kid for his story. I don't understand, said the writer. It's an honor to be in a book. Right, said Haley. She took the marker and wrote, and then the writer wrote himself into the book. He could not get out and was stuck there forever. Ah! yelled the writer from inside the book. Jacob opened it and said, Don't worry, it's an honor to be in a book. Then Haley gave the book to the librarian. The librarian loved having a writer in the library. And the book was very popular because it was the only one that bounced up and down on the shelf and yelled, Help! Help! Help!